Hello my dear beauties, you often ask me to show you some everyday hairstyles which look stylish and at the same time are easy to do. So today I'd like to present you 7 cute casual looks which can be even worn for special events if you add right accessories. And if you don't follow me yet on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, I'm going to put all the links in the description box. This way we can stay connected because even when I don't have a chance to post new videos here on YouTube, I stay very active on social media. I'm sharing with you photos from my trips, my fashion, beauty, hair favorites, almost every day. Beautiful hair is your best accessory. So I'm going to start from attaching my glam time clip and hair extensions. In a matter of minutes, they give me all the length and volume that I need. I like my extensions wavy, but I don't like to damage them with high heat tools. That's why I often use jumbo curlers, soft bendy rollers that can be used overnight on dry or slightly dampened hair. In one of my previous videos I've already shown you how to use them, so feel free to check it out. You'll find the link on the screen and in the description box. And that's what my hair looks like from the back, and the first step in creating this hairstyle is to section a strand of hair above the extensions with some of the extensions. Here you can see what's the location of the hair that I section. I take the hair right at the back of my head and secure it with a clear elastic band. If your hair is dark, of course you could use a dark one. Obviously, if you're not using any extensions, the technique is exactly the same. Next, I'm going to separate another section of hair right under the first one. So again, I separate some of my hair extensions. If you use your natural hair, that's where it should be located and secure it with a clear elastic band. After that, the things are going to get slightly more complicated, but still quite easy. You want to split the top strands of hair in two equal parts, bring them around the bottom strands of hair, merge them together right under it, and add some extra hair from the sides to this strand. And for the convenience of styling, I'm going to secure the top section of hair off my way. For that, I'm using a simple bobby pin. And that's exactly why I like to call this braid a split braid rather than a pull-through braid, because I'm not pulling anything through. And personally, I prefer this technique, because it allows me to achieve more neat results. Now I can release the top strand of hair and repeat the same procedure once again. I split it in two parts and bring them around the bottom strand of hair. The bottom strand goes upward and I secure it with a bobby pin. Then I merge the two remaining strands together and add some extra hair from the sides. I secure it all with a clear elastic band. And I release the top strand of hair. If you want, at this point you could finish off your hairstyle by tugging on the segments of the braid, just to give them that extra volume. Me, I'm going to move on and create another segment of my braid. But this time I will merge all my remaining hair with the bottom strand of hair, to put it into a kind of a ponytail. Once I release the top strand of hair, I get this gorgeous bohemian ponytail. A couple of finishing touches to give my braid the desired shape, volume and texture, and I'm ready to go. This hairstyle is totally on trend this season, and I just love the way it looks. Effortless, soft, feminine, what else could you wish for? It's super easy to wear because you can style your hair however you wish in front, and you can even dress it up for special events. You could bring your ponytail to the front over the shoulder and even put it into a braid, any braid of your choice. If you like half up, half down hairstyles that allow you to expose the length and volume of your hair, that's a great option. As I already mentioned, you could stop after creating two segments of the braid and then you could also decorate your hairstyle. That's actually my favorite accessory, which you see quite a lot in my tutorials these days. I love how you can leave some hair at the back, some at the front and have a very beautiful and flattering look. It's actually picture perfect as it looks great from any angle. And now let's do something fun with our hair. Divide it in two equal parts and then create a rope braid on either side of your head. Just to remind you, the rope braiding technique is the following. You split each section in two equal parts, twist each of the sections in the same direction, here I'm twisting them to the right, and then wrap the strands around each other in the opposite direction. And you can see me twisting them to the left. 
the entire braid should be quite tight, so make sure that it doesn't get loose till you secure it with a clear elastic band. And after that it will keep its shape naturally. In case you're struggling with your rope braid as it keeps on undoing, it means that you simply didn't braid tightly enough. So try once again. I repeat the same procedure on the other side of my head, and you can see that the top segments of my braid, my split braid, complete my braids just perfectly, as if they're made for each other. By the way, the accessory I'm still wearing here is totally optional, and for everyday wear you should definitely not use it. You could either skip it completely, or replace it with a casual and very trendy looking bow or a flower. I'm going to show you what this hairstyle looks like from the back, and as I already told you, I totally dig this shape. Today I didn't use too many wefts of my hair extensions, like half of them, so to make these braids appear more voluminous, I'm going to tug on them. That's the result. And now get ready for a transformation. If you grab your braids and bring them around your head, like that, you're going to get a very modern updo. Something like milkmaid braids, but much more flattering at the back. I'm going to show you what you're supposed to do in front to get this kind of an effect. That's pretty much straightforward. I use multiple bobby pins to secure my braid in place. Then I move on to the following braid, and I just make sure to hide its ends under the first braid. And this is what it gives. That's the view from the back, and guess what happened? I decided to show you what this hairstyle looks like without this accessory, and in the process of removing it, I snapped my elastic band open. And once it was gone, I actually noticed that my hair nevertheless shapes very nicely, so I just left it like that. Not that I had a lot of choice about the situation, but I think totally by chance, I discovered a new way to get volume at the back of my head. Without special tricks like teasing, nothing. Just remove the top elastic band and that's what you get. And now back to basics. Split your hair in two equal parts and put it in two ponytails. I always loved double ponytails, always wanted to wear them, but for many years they were considered out of style, too childish, luckily those days are gone. Now you can absolutely legitimately wear them even if you're an adult. I only like to tug on the hair at the sides of my head to give it some extra volume. I couldn't resist my temptation to show you my favorite accessories, which are simply perfect for this kind of a hairstyle. Also for side braids, low ponytails, especially if you bring them over your shoulder to the front. So I have two headbands, a flowery one and a golden one that reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana style. I'm not even sure which one I prefer. I guess in the end it all depends on my outfit. And if I had a wedding to attend, I would definitely consider wearing something like that. I don't know what happened to me, but I totally forgot to hide the elastic bands with a strand of hair. That's something I always do, so yeah. To make this hairstyle appear totally chic and finished, don't forget to wrap a strand of hair around the hair tie and secure its end with a clear elastic band. In a way, this step is completely optional, but personally, I would never choose to skip it. I think that's the main thing that brings these ponytails to the next level. Now I'm ready to show you the next hairstyle, a bubble braid. You might have seen it before in my tutorials, but this time I have a twist for it. So let's start from creating it. Grab your clear elastic band and tie it just like that. Then tuck on the hair to give it some volume and do the same thing once again. Secure your hair and tug on it. One more bubble and we're done. This hairstyle is super popular among bloggers and you can often see it on Instagram. And I cannot deny, I love it as well. Quite often I wear it with Dutch braids or French braids or even twisted braids. So I simply secure my braids beneath my ears and then create those bubble ponytails. Today I'd like to show you a super fun way to style them. All you want to do is grab a piece of a ribbon tie it into a knot around the elastic band and finally tie the ends into a bow. I'm going to create six little bows in total. I found this ribbon in a store with decorations and it was very cheap. I've simply cut it into multiple pieces, but next I had to seal their ends so that they don't fray. For that I used a lighter and brought the ends of the ribbon near the flame. You don't want to put them into the flame, just close enough so that they start melting. You should know that they melt very quickly, so you have to be careful not to set your ribbon on fire. 
Apparently you could also seal the ends with a transparent nail polish, but unfortunately I don't have any. I've been wearing gel on my nails for years by now. And now another moment of transformation. Grab your braids and tie them into a knot. Yes, I'm not kidding, these braids can be also tied into a knot. Then tie another knot, just like that. Hide the ends under your bun, making sure to shape it in such a manner that the bows are not hidden away. Secure your bun with bobby pins and you're ready to go. So which hairstyle from this tutorial did you like most? Let me know in comments under this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye! Thank you.